Hello. Hello. Um, the person on the phone at 716 474 uh, I can't read it. 9616. 9616. What, what part are you here for? I'm William Cunningham. I guess I'm number eight on the list. Number eight. Okay. So okay. we just want to make sure because we can't see you. So we want to be able to make sure we allow you to. Um, to, uh, to voice your opinion or whatever you're here for. So, mm -hmm. so, we're, number seven. so we're tagging you so we know when we get to that, uh, make sure that you can see it, okay? Okay, uh, I guess at this point I'll just I'll just stay on the line and listen? Yes. Yes, we're going to, yes, we're going to okay. mute so you can listen. We'll mute, we'll mute you until that, that one comes up. I think it's seven o'clock. Let's go for it. Yeah. You're so tight. Good evening. The June 18, 2020 hearing of the Zoning Board of Appeals of the Town of Grand Island is now in session. Uh, this is a, a new experience for all of us. Uh, it's a Zoom meeting. I'd like to introduce the members of the board. Betty Harris, uh, Bob Mesmer, John Brattle, uh, Tim Phillips. Our alternative member is Dan Drexelius. And I am the chairman, Miriam Fabiano. Also in attendance tonight is our code enforcement officer, Ron Milt, and zoning clerk, Ron Tatoma. Matters before the board this evening will be taken in the order in which they appear on the agenda. There are copies of the agenda available. I don't know if you have, they've had an experience to see it. Uh, and you'll be called on in the order in which they are on our agenda. There are copies on oh, uh, the table in the corner. Also available are copies of the legal notices that would have been upstairs. The board shall hear and decide appeals pursuant to the provisions of the laws of the state of New York. This is a legal hearing and all participants should consider themselves to be sworn to make accurate statements and charged with bringing all pertinent facts to the board's attention. Any discovery of false testimony and or the withholding of facts would be grounds for a ruling review and reconsideration. <clears throat> Excuse me. As each agenda item is addressed, the appellant or the representative will come forward and present their request. After the board hears from the appellant, um, you will stay on and we will hear from anyone wishing to speak for or against each issue. All parties will be required to give their name and address for the record. Can't do sites and that's um, necessary. Let's see. Once a determination has been made, any party who feels aggrieved by the ZBA's decision may file an Article 78 proceeding with the state Supreme Court within 30 days of the filing of said decision with the town clerk's office. This hearing will now commence. Um, the first appellant is from Bush Road, 1940 Bush Road. Uh, Please raise your hand and we'll acknowledge and you can <laughs> you can present your um, request for a variance to us now. All right, can you hear us? Yeah. Okay, I'm Charles Schmidt. This is my wife, Lisa Schmidt. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Wishing you all well. Um, they're, we're looking to procure a building permit to build our, our new dream home on 1940 Bush Road. Well, we don't issue building permits, but you're looking for a variance. A variance, okay. That's and, correct. And we can't get the permit till we get the variance. That's correct. So we're looking for the variance for the garage? For, for additional garage space. Correct. You no, know, can I clarify that, please? It, it's, a, it's a new build and the garage is attached to the home. Correct. It's not it, in the statement here, it says detached. No, it, it's a garage attached to our home. Okay, our, our notes say attached. 
our notes say attached garage. Correct. We're right. Okay. It is attached. The it note attached. on the meeting meeting said the, the attached, but it is attached. Yes. Correct. Okay. So we're requesting a variance for a the garage to be. Um, I believe the concern was the size of the garage. So we're asking for the additional space. Right. We're looking for a variance of the amount of 906 square feet. Correct. For the additional garage space. Correct. Uh, yes, is there anyone who is viewing this meeting that has any comments for or against the project? If you have any, raise your hand so we can address it. I don't see anyone with their hand raised. Um, now we will allow the zoning board to ask questions if you okay. have concerns or questions. I guess my question is, is what do you intend to do in those spaces? Okay, well, again, again, it's going to be a four car garage. I am a car collector. I own seven vehicles. I store some of them right now at my office on Harbortown. Harbor Town. I'm a business owner here in Grand Island. And so four cars, and then the other side is going to be for a pool table or a TV on 25 square feet of it. And then four or five square feet is going to be for the tractor, you know, the, the lawnmower, the riding lawnmower. You're not intending to use this for any type of commercial purpose? No, no. sir. No. Okay. Any other questions? We have no other questions. Uh, motion to close the public hearing by so um, Bob, by Gradle, John. Second by Tim. All in favor? Aye. Okay. A motion would be in order. I, I'll make a motion to approve the variance for 906 square feet. Um, 19. Yeah, yeah. At 1940 Bush Road. A motion has been made, seconded by Bob Mesmer. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, it's approved. The rationale being? Uh, it's not a detriment to the neighborhood. We recognize the needs need for storage. The space is available. Space yeah, available. It's going to be a beautiful house. Yes. Okay, you're all set. Do, do we say thank you now? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, and we wish everybody well. Do we, uh, just two questions. A, we, it's okay for us to sign off? Yes, you wish. And then how will we be notified? You'll be notified in the mail Correct. by the zoning clerk. Okay. But okay. You, are, you are set. We, we Thank wish, you very much. wish you all the best of health and be safe. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Okay, the second item on our agenda is 2110 Meadow Lane. I don't know if there's other people are here for them, but I Did we have someone for Meadow Lane? Neil is West Oakfield and Jeffrey Blum is West Oakfield. We, Deborah. Deborah Amorosi? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have. Do I need to unmute that Yes. Yes. No one's here. It's she coming. Oh, okay. Hello? Deborah? Raise your hand if you. Oh. And my name was by phone. I thought. No, the down. Meadow Lane, you are logged on, but your audio is not working. So we could no, just ask. The other thing is, um, we could contact her with the calling information. Well, I have everything, and she has several letters from the neighborhood. We actually could move forward with it. Well. And I have a picture too. Do you have her phone number here? You want to call her? We could call her and you could talk to her that way. There's a phone on the table. We just got to yeah. get her phone number. It's right here. It's on the front of 773 1817. 1817? Yeah, 1817. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your name? Deborah. Deborah. 
Hello, Deborah. We're um, conducting the zoning board meeting, and you're on, but you're not. We can't hear your voice. Are you there? Yeah, we're here, and we can. No, we can't. Well, we could talk to you anyway. Would you like to tell us what your project is on Meadow Lane? Yeah, we're looking for a variance. Let me get a little further away. Can you hear us now? Okay? Is that too much yeah. To no, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, we're looking to get a variance on a garage, a detached garage, <laughs> for uh, another 80 square foot. Oh, oh garage space. Space, yes. Yes. Um, we have some pictures of your property, and several um, people have written that they are not opposed to your project. All of our neighbors. Yes, we have all of those. And is this a garage for storage? What is yeah. the need Security for storage? Get things out of the weather. Okay, no commercial use. No, not at all. Okay. Um, is there anyone who is viewing this meeting who is here to speak for or against this project? If there is, please raise your hand. Not seeing anyone. Um, Lord, do you have any questions for? Uh, the MROC. Okay. No, no questions. Okay. okay. Can I make a, motion? a motion to close um, the public hearing. Betty made a motion to close, and Tim second the motion. Um, I had a couple of pictures for you to see the house, which is very nice. And so a I, motion is. I'll make a motion. Okay, motion is appropriate. 2110 Meadow Lane for the 80 foot variance, 80 square, 80 square feet foot variance for the uh, addition of the garage, additional garage space. Motion has been made by Tim and second by Bob. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposition. That's carried. Uh, the rationale? Who um, made the motion? <laughs> The rationale is we recognize the need for additional storage. It's not a detriment to the neighborhood, and all the neighbors are in favor. That's right. Thank you. So you're set. So you are all set. Thank you very much. You guys be safe. You're welcome. Are you my echo? I don't think they heard. I didn't know if they heard you said for a while. Oh, okay. Uh, number three. I think it's over. Oh yeah, it sounds like this. Uh, Ten forty-four Stony Point Road. Is there anyone here to speak about that project? Nathan Tilton? Okay, I don't see anybody. You don't have a phone number for that one? No. Okay, uh, let's we're gonna ask. Um, well, sir, we're, we're wondering what case you were for. Gentleman in the red. Yes. What case were you here for again? Uh, number five, uh, blessed, B L E S T. Okay, we'll, we'll unmute you then at that time, okay? Okay, great. Thank you. We'll go back to um, item three on our agenda. This um, request for a variance was on our agenda in 2018. It's for a one foot variance for the enclosure of an existing carport. And I do have a picture of that too. Um, does anyone want to see it? It's uh, they're enclosing that it will no longer be a garage, is what I understand. It's going to be. We do have a phone number for that one. Yeah. Well, I also have a couple of photos. I did reach out to that person. Besides the letters that I mail, I've tried to contact everybody personally, but I never could get a hold of that person. Yes. Oh, I do have a couple of photos from the last one.
And if anyone wants to see those pictures from a distance, it's not a problem. Yeah. Have you all seen these pictures? No, I just no, really. So it's for a one foot variance, so this carport could be enclosed. Um, we did approve it two years ago. So, do um, you have any concerns about it? Okay, a motion would be appropriate then to um, grant a one foot variance for the enclosure of an existing. No, well, well, we kind of get our own public hearing. Okay. The public hearing. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? Thank you. By John, second by Debbie. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Now, motion is appropriate for the one foot variance to enclose an existing carport. I'll make that motion for uh, 1044 Stony. Um, That's right, Stony Point. Yeah, Stony Point Road, a one foot variance to enclose the carport. Motion by John, second by Bob Mesmer. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, it's approved. Are the rationale, John? But it's not a detriment to the neighborhood. You can barely see it back there any as it is. And uh, it's a lot too small in, in those areas there, so it's hard to do any kind of an enhancement. So. Right, it's not visible. That's right. It's just enclosing. Right. Okay, we're stuck with that. Mr. Tokens. Okay, number four, Wallace Drive, 3550. Uh, would the uh, applicant, you can raise your hand and talk to us about your project. We've ever viewed it. Who is it? Nicole. 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 Okay. I, did you call me? Because I yes. can't hear anybody. Yeah. Peter Estelle? 3550 Wallace Drive. That's you. Now we can. Can you hear us now? You can't hear. She, she might not have. She might not have. Is your is her phone number on there? No, it's not. Ask her for a phone number like this. She can see us, but she can't hear us. I probably have. I have the Nicole's phone number. It would be nice if when these applications are filled out, they're filled out properly. Can you hear me? Now we can. She can't hear up. She can't hear up. Oh. Please come up with the notes. Call us. We can do it. What is your disconnect? Program. <laughs> You're showing it to everybody. She says she has a zoom on her phone. She doesn't know we can hear her. Give her a chance, Dan. There you go. <laughs> I got 716-998-0892. I got a hot tub and a cold drink waiting for me. So this is that guy here. I didn't call. Um, we, couldn't, we couldn't hear you, so we're going to. Okay, here. Gonna take uh -oh. Nicole, will you tell us about the project that you're uh, pursuing so and you need a, a variance for? Yes, I'm hoping to um, tear down my current court and rebuild a new one. Um, and seven feet longer in length. And the present one is is what size? It's Say deeper, you're going to enlarge it to so it's six feet. Correct. Okay. Six feet in depth and then 16 feet in length. 
So you only then need a two foot variance, not a six foot variance. Correct. Yeah, I spoke with Rhonda earlier. She said that that was a mistake. Okay. But only six feet, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question. Is the awning that you have going to stay with the new deck? Now, is there anyone that we can see who is here to speak for or against this project on Wallace Drive? 3550 Wallace Drive. If you're here for that, you could raise your hand. I don't see anybody. Um, I did, just so you know, I did go to um, both my neighbors on the east side of me and then four feet or four feet one across the street and then they all signed um, a little right after they did that they do not oppose to the project. And you have that that they signed? Okay, you could yeah. uh, send that so that we have it on record in the zoning okay. department. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, the public hearing. A motion to close. Perfect. Motion to close by John, <laughs> second by Betty. All in favor? Aye. Okay, this is a request for two <laughs> Extension of uh, her deck uh, at two four two three five five zero Wallace Drive. Make a motion for a two foot variance to extend that at three five five zero Wallace Drive. No setback variance. Setback variance. Front yard setback variance. Front yard setback variance. Second. Motion by Tim, second by Bob. All in favor? Aye. It's approved. Uh, the rationale. Now, the rationale is it's not a detriment to the neighborhood, and all the neighbors are in favor. And it's to uh, repair an existing structure that is not very good. And it's, it also doesn't change the nature of the neighborhood at all. You're all set. Can I just ask a quick question? Uh, do you understand that I'm extending it and going to five? You don't need a variance for that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I'll share that. Okay. <laughs> okay, the next um, item on our agenda is number five, 1579, Bedell Road. Mr. Gary Norris. He raised his hand. Hello. 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 How are you this evening? Can you hear me okay? Oh, yes. Okay. What your project is. Okay, uh, John Blessed, uh, the owner of 1579 Bedell Road. Um, we're looking to put a fence up and being on a corner, you know, it's considered two front yards. So we're looking for a variance um, to be able to put the fence up a um, little, you know, to maximize our yardage. Uh, the variance that I'm looking for puts our fence equal to the people across the street um, from the street. So, you know, it's not, it's no different than what anybody else has in the neighborhood. Um, I believe one of my neighbors earlier today, Mary Battaglia, called somebody and told them that they do not object to the project. My neighbor uh, that the fence would abut to, I've also talked to, and I have a signed paper from him stating he does not object. I have talked to the other neighbors um, across the street on both sides and none of them object at all to this fence. Um, we put a pool in two years ago. We're looking, you know, being on a corner, we're looking for a little bit of privacy. We have uh, small grandchildren that come over, you know, and just to help contain them a little bit because Fidel Road and Jamestown are, are busier streets. So that's what we're looking to do with this project. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else that sticks in this? who would like to speak for or against the erection of the fence at 1579 Bedell Road. Can we unmute this person just for a moment, just in case? Yeah, sure. you, will you ask them who they, what they're here for? What's up? Wait. If your phone number ends in 5755, five, five, can you let us know which agenda item you are here for? Hi, uh, this is Regina Gunther for the Bedell Lighthouse. Okay, thank you. We're going to leave you muted for a few more moments, ma'am. Okay. 
he did say that his neighbor sent or has, he has a note from his neighbor that you should send into our zoning department. So we have yes, I can do that. Okay. Um, this is for a three foot height variance for the fence and a 20 foot, 25 foot uh, variance for a front yard setback because it's on the corner lot. So um, let's do the front yard setback first. The fence is going to connect to the back of the garage in case you wanted to see it. Paul, please. We just closed the public hearing because a motion was made by John Brattle and second by Bob Mesmer. Okay, a motion is appropriate for the front yard setback. Uh, it's a 25 foot front yard setback on the corner lot. Motion by Bob, second by John. All, uh, all in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Okay. The second uh, motion is for the height of the fence, which will be six feet high. Therefore, you need the three foot, no, ten foot high. Six, uh, the, it's going to be a six foot high fence. It's on top of the water main. You're good. It's just incorrect. This we've done on several corner lots. Never that close to the road. Yes, we have it on the other side of the sidewalk. Yeah. Well, we give a special hard time on the other one. I'm just trying Wait to Wait a minute. And don't forget. Wait, don't forget. Okay, but when we come around the corner. Don't forget. I, I got that. I'm asking questions. Where are we going to learn? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It's, it's 10 feet from the sidewalk. Yeah. Ten feet from the sidewalk or ten feet from the house? Ten feet from the no, sidewalk. No, the sidewalk, the fence is going to start approximately it's ten feet. Of the sewer main, but it's Wait a minute. Order of the court. I deal with these all the time. Right? I know, that's fine. But right now, you are not one of the <clears throat> participants on the zoning board tonight. That's why I can't ask questions. Well, I would say no. You would say no? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're to the height of the, the, the height of the fence. The height is six feet. Therefore, he needs a three foot height variance for the set. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion to that effect? Mm -hmm. Motion by Bob, second by, by Betty, all in favor? Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, variances needed for mm -hmm. this project are approved. Reasoning being, what he had stated, one of them, and I will say it. I forget who made the motion to approve it. It's a corner lot. Yeah, right. Okay. What other concerns? Safety. Okay. Safety. And it conforms to other fences just like this that we have approved for corner lots in other neighborhoods. You're all set. Mr. Thank you very much. Have a safe evening. Same to you. Okay, the next item is Ferry Road, 1437 Ferry Road. Raise your hand if you're, no, you can't raise your hand. You're on the telephone. Which one are we on, number six? We're on number, number six, 1437. Six. I think it's the telephone. It's a, yeah. The Del Lago. Yeah. Can you hear? Hi, I'm on YouTube. I can see all you guys, but I'm I'm not on there, on there. So, Do you name and have we name and address for the tape. Adele Road. Ferry. Ferry. Fourteen thirty-seven Ferry Road. Okay. Your name. Uh, Regina Marie Gunther. Okay. Um, tell us, you can tell us what your plot, well, you have two requests for variances, and because your uh, lot that you uh, are separating for a lot has not been 
decided on, even though it was um, approved with the planning board, it's not legally separated. So for that reason, we're going to table your uh, request for this variance until our next meeting. Okay. Okay. Because okay, I was just made aware of that today. Okay. After it's already passed two boards. But it hasn't been um, acted upon and approved officially by the town board. Okay. Okay, so it's cabled. All, all in favor of cabling item, uh, item number six. A motion to table. Motion by Betty, second by John. All in favor? Aye. Okay, that's tabled for the next meeting. And we are now on number seven, 758 Alt Boulevard. Um, somebody was here for a moment. Yep, you think it's just the one person, the Alt Boulevard number seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, all over. This is Bill Cunningham. Yes. Tell us what your uh, project. Uh, I'm doing work for uh, my neighbor two doors down. Uh, I'm taking a. Uh, Wait, excuse her, me. Just, you give us your name and address. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but he didn't give us his address. Give us your address. Uh, my address is 774 Alt. Okay, thank you. Continue, please. Okay, uh, I'm doing the uh, a new front porch for 758 Alt Boulevard. Yes. Uh, they had no front door and they had no front porch, um, and I plan on providing that for them, and a new walkway. Mm -hmm. um, I've uh, uh, walked the the neighborhood. I've got uh, a handful of written statements from all the neighbors in view of it. I, I believe I've got either five or six. Um, statements. Everyone, everyone seems pretty excited about it because the house looked pretty crappy before. Um, and uh, I, I think I've uh, given you drawings of what I intend to plan or uh, to build. Yeah. And it involves a uh, six foot variance. All right. I think it's uh, less than that, but I'm only coming out six foot. Oh, doesn't even, doesn't even six foot variance or an eight foot variance, John? But I have a question. I see. Pardon? I know, but he says. I have a question for you, Mr. Coming, coming here. Our notes yes. say that it's a entrance foyer for the home. And yes, uh, 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 originally it was going to be a, a foyer, uh, an enclosed vestibule. Uh, but since this whole past three months has gone by, uh, the homeowner, she's not been working steadily and we decided to uh, minimize it and just make it a covered porch okay is that what i see constructed already uh yes so it's partially from it's not complete but it's it's almost there yeah, it's almost there okay usually we get variances before we start the process I, I, I am aware of that. Okay. So this is only going to be the roof over the entrance. That's correct. Okay. And, and a site, a, a, a porch under the roof, a pressure treated porch under the roof, and a sidewalk leading to the driveway. Okay. So you need a front yard setback area. Now, Ron, is this correct, AC? The setback is 50 feet, and he's, he was already short of a setback. So it's eight feet. Right. It's the six foot plus the two. Yeah, eight feet is correct. Okay, thank you. Um, so it's an eight foot variance. Um, are there any questions? that you want to ask, or is there anyone that we can see who wants to speak for or against this project? 
Not seeing anyone, we'll close the public hearing. A motion to close the public hearing by Betty. Second by Bob Mesmer. All in favor? Aye. Okay, a motion would be appropriate for a front yard setback variance of eight feet at 758 Elk Boulevard for the construction of a um, covered front door. Um, yes. So a uh, motion by John, second by Bob. All in favor? Aye. 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 Rationale. Appearance of the house, no detriment to the area. All the neighbors, all the neighbors are in agreement and enthused about it. Uh, and it's no detriment. Did you say that to my neighborhood? You're all set. Sounds good to me. Okay, sounds good to me too. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. thank you very much. You're you all have a great yeah. night. You too. Moving on okay. to Bondon, uh, East River Road, 3418 East River Road. We have granted an extension for this before. Um, the lot has been cleared. And the variance that he had already expired in May. And I wrote a note, and if you're in agreement in consideration of the pandemic, uh, I think that if we are going to allow him um, an extension on his variance, it would be appropriate to make it retroactive from November 2019 to November 2020, because if he had, and we had met before, that variance would almost be over too. So there, if there's a motion to that effect or any discussion that you'd like to make, um, it would be appropriate to make the motion now. I'll make the motion to extend the variance till uh, November 2020. Thank you. A motion by John, second by uh, Bob, all in favor? Aye. Okay, and he'll receive a copy of um, the extension for the variance for the construction of this new house. Uh, now we are on Old Business, 1952 East River Road. Um, is there a home? There is someone here. Yeah. So, is she the only one to be like her muted first? <clears throat> Are you here? Would you tell us, um, give us your name and address and tell us about your request? Peggy Bauman, 1952 East River Road, Grand Island. And um, since I got this notice, there was no notice of of old business on here. So um, I sent you an email today uh, stating such and that the uh, information that should be posted is what we're talking about. And old business was not posted on the town site. So those are two things that, that, that at least haven't been uh, accomplished by the town. So I thought maybe we should be postponing this until that's accomplished. Well, um, we did get a copy of what you said to the town, and it actually doesn't apply to the request that you are making for uh, the garage. Well, the so the variance we're requesting is just a height variance. Yeah. For an existing structure. Yes, but what she said for the table does not apply to what her request is. Well, I think what- But the request was not even printed in the, uh, the town notes here, which should be done if you're going to have a, a meeting with the zoning board and you're going to do old business. What you're going to do, the old business should be in that notice. We tabled the old business and the public hearing was closed after our last meeting. Correct. So we're accepting this, but the public hearing was closed after our last meeting. And um, I think that you had to 
get some information to us pertaining to the grad spaces that you have. The, the uh, building that we're talking about is, is not necessarily a garage, it's a barn. It holds farm, farm equipment. equipment. So that doesn't apply. We're in the ag district and so that does not apply. So yeah, the, the, so the variance we're requesting is for a building that, you know, you can, you, you can call it a garage, but technically it's a barn. It houses farm equipment, tractors and farm supplies. And the variance we're requesting is simply a height extension to create additional storage space um, for an agricultural building. Well, no, I think that the I wasn't going to say that possibly we should table, but because of the confusion for what you've applied for, for what you're saying now, there is misinformation because everything that we have shows garage, not a barn. Well, we called it a shop, but it is because that just seemed to be a better name for us, separating it from the house. But it is a barn in the sense that it houses farm, farm equipment. equipment and we're in the ag district and we do have a farm. Well, you've kind of bunched everything together, but when we're making re and doing requests for variances, uh, we go by what the information is that we receive. So on that note, our next meeting is in two weeks. So we can straighten out your letter that you sent. Mm -hmm. Advertise a table item again. So that is not something that we would have done or that we do do. But based on the confusion that you have, what has been submitted, I would ask that we uh, do a motion to table this item so and that everything gets straightened out. And the next meeting is July 7th. So would it be appropriate then to resubmit what it is we're asking for so that we're all clear and on the same page around what the request is? Yes, and what is your name? Lori Kelman. I'm Peggy's daughter. Okay, and your address? 3496 Sandy Beach Road. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so um, I'm, you can talk to the building zoning department and get your information straight so we know exactly what is going on. I think one of the issues is what was submitted doesn't look like a barn and it really doesn't look like a garage. So take that into consideration too. Right, but sometimes you like to have a building look nicer than just a barn. So that's what we've done because you see it from the road. So why, why have a barn looking barn? Well. Well, it depends on whether it's an agro, it doesn't even look like an agricultural building, but those are things that have to be worked out. Yeah. Okay, a motion to table. A uh, motion to table, 1952, Easter Road, the July transfer. July. Okay. Motion by John, second by okay. Bob Nisman. Table, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, all right, thank, thank you. you. Have a good evening. Okay, and our last item is 2234 West Oakfield. Neil, um, I think both of them are for this. Yes, well, you have three. Oh, three? You have Jeffrey Brule. Okay, who Neil is Jeff Palumbo? I think I'm, yeah, I'm Jeff Palumbo. I'm uh, the attorney for Neil Walsh. I'm here with Neil and Jeff Palumbo, who is the builder. Um, my address is 9276 Main Street in Clarence, and we all want to thank you for including us on the agenda this evening. We appreciate it. I don't know if you want me to go into detail on where we are, because this is under old business, but I'll certainly leave that up to you. I think that what we were waiting for from the last time you were before us is uh, information factual information from people that lived in that neighborhood because there was some discrepancy for who was speaking for the neighborhood. So if you can enlighten us in that respect, I think that everything else we've discussed 
for quite a while. Sure. Sure. We, since the um, closing of the hearing, we have submitted to the zoning board uh, consent approvals from our immediate neighbors, that being 2226 Oakfield, uh, 2238, and I believe 2240. Those are all either to the north or to the east and to the south. Mr. Cambria uh, submitted an email to me indicating that he had no objection, stating on his behalf that he and his wife had no objection to the requested variances. And so we, uh, all of that was submitted to the board. Yes. And I don't know if uh, we have a, something from um, Judy Shore, but her address is an this. Is one of them that you mentioned, Judy Shore? Yes. Okay, so we have those. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Are there any other questions or anybody else who would like to speak? I think we closed the public hearing. That's, that's, what, that's what we were waiting for. We wanted to get that approval so we were all set. Yeah, so, so we're zoning set. board, do you have any other questions that we should discuss? Because the public hearing was closed. Well, that, no. That's the answer we're looking for. That's what our concern was. So now we can act on the variances that were requested. And there are three of them it's two side yard setbacks and one shoreline setback. Um, first side yard setback, the north, uh, requires a five foot variance at 2234 Oakfield. Amen. Motion by Bob, second by John. All in favor? Aye. Uh, side yard setback south, the same amount, five feet for a variance at the south side. No. Motion I'll by second. Second. Bob, second by uh, John. And the shoreline setback has been discussed and it's 98.4 feet closer to the shoreline is what the variance amount is. It's the property, some a house was uh, torn down previously. So that would be the third and final variance. Is there a motion to that effect? Awesome. Motion by John, second by um, Bob Nesma. Uh, those are the three, all in favor of these three variances. Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? No one. And the rationale for those requests, Bob and John. It was very unusual uh, property with houses uh, set back considerable distance from us. And the person, okay. And we were very concerned by anybody who might be affected by visibility of the river. And that's why we wanted to be sure that we got confirmation of people from the area, which we did get. And the closest person was supposed to be the spokesman for the um, people in the area, but we wanted something more definitive. So that would be the rationale. You're set. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, moving on with our agenda, we have to approve the minutes of the March 5th, 2020 meeting. And this is June. Uh, all in favor? I mean, a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve them. A motion by Betty, second by Bob. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, you have received other minutes from the Board of Architecture Review, Planning Board Agenda, Planning Board Minutes, Town Board Agenda, Town Board Minutes. Thank you very much. This meeting is adjourned. Motion to adjourn. I make the motion. Motion to adjourn by John, second by Bob. Uh, if people don't want to second and say okay, we should sit here longer. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.